All right. Hello and welcome, everybody. So today we are talking about just how tough are they and who are we talking about just how tough they are. We are talking about Kuva Elite Lancers, these boys that you'll see in the bottom right of this video. Uh, these boys are featured quite heavily in the hard mode footage that I took, and that is up on the channel. Uh, I put up a Korra run where I am eliminating many, many of these boys at level 130 in hard mode. And many people seem to think that either it was still trivially easy and nothing content, or that these enemies are the spongiest motherfuckers that have ever existed. So we're going to find out who's right and which of the two it really is. So for that, I have done some maths, as you can see here. Uh, we are doing EHP math. Also, this is with the new S-curve math, or as close as we can get to it. Some of these values that are in these functions, we do not know to be the actual in-game calculations, but based on in-game in -game testing from myself and many other people who contribute to the wiki, it seems pretty damn close. So uh, let's talk about this starting with health. So we need a couple of things to be able to calculate this stuff. We need the current level of the enemy, easy, easy to find out, and the base level of the enemy. The base level of the Kuva Elite Lancers happens to be 15. So each of these functions, X is essentially current level. So that's what we're taking into account for this whole thing to get our multiplier of the base health to get to the actual health of the unit. So to save you guys the trouble of having to go over everything that you see here and why all these things are here, I have already done all of this. So we can see that a level 130 Kuva Elite Lancer has 17,415 HP. And you might be thinking to yourself, that's like nothing. My Tigress says like 8,000. So of course, these dudes would be pushovers. However, we do not have to stop at their health because they also have armor. And thankfully, they don't have shields. Otherwise, we'd have to do that too. Uh, so we're going to take their armor and it uses very similar functions. Once again, we do not know that these are the absolute exact values of calculations, but it is extremely close. Um, and we get that these enemies have 3,009 armor. So for that, we need to apply the armor damage reduction they're getting to their health. Uh, so we get their damage reduction from uh, the current armor divided by current armor plus 300. Uh, and we see that they have about 91% damage reduction, which is pretty good. Uh, and that brings their EHP to 192,000. And that's quite a bit more than 17,000, obviously. However, it is extremely worth noting that we did not just do the math for the hard mode enemies. This is what you would get if you ran into a regular old level 130 Kuva Elite Lancer in normal mode. Whenever we get into hard mode, we have to do some extra stuff. And what we've got here is the hard mode multipliers. So we have double HP. This we know to be absolutely factual. However, the big sort of speculation point uh, and the point that I've not seen a huge amount of evidence to back up is that apparently, according to a number of different sources, the armor, the sortie armor modifier is times three armor. Given that that is true, and I would love for DE to tell us the actual modifier on it so we can do the math for that, but we don't have that. Um, this is how much they're going to be getting. Obviously, double health. Armor times three. Their reduction goes up to 96, 0.967, roughly. Uh, it's a much longer decimal than that, but I've rounded it. And that means that their EHP is 1,083,010. Which is more than five times their usual EHP. But let's consider thinking about, you know, the Kuva Elite Lancers that we normally run into. If you're in the Kuva Fortress and you're just doing missions, those missions are like around the level 30 mark. So what do those Kuva Elite Lancers that you're used to have in terms of EHP as compared to the hard mode EHP values that we're seeing? 
because most people aren't going to stay in those missions until enemies reach level 130. The EHP of the regular level 30 Kuva Elite Lancers is 1,344, which means you can fit a little over 805 of the regular Kuva Elite Lancers we're used to seeing into one hard mode Kuva Elite Lancer. So, my perspective on this is that because Korra is very, very good, I think it wasn't obvious to people just how much damage I was outputting. Some people know how tough those enemies are, but now all of you should know about how tough those enemies are. So consider if you, with your builds, can output that much damage, the damage needed to kill actual hordes with the insanely high spawn rates of enemies that have 1 million plus EHP each. Like every single enemy you encounter has a million EHP. Obviously we have some tools uh, to cut down uh, and cut through some like stuff here, like heat going through armor and viral buffing up our damage. But nonetheless, these enemies are resilient to Mesa. They're resilient to Saren. They're resilient to the vast majority of the things we're used to using to output, out, output extreme amounts of damage. Um, so yeah, I just kind of wanted to go over just how tough they are. Because a lot of people play Warframe very casually, and they play with whatever they want. But the main thing that I really wanted to get across here is that, yes, the difficulty of this hard mode is not higher. It's not actually harder functionally, but what it requires of your builds is significantly increased. Uh, this is an extreme gear check. So for anybody that was disappointed that my Korra was simply using her four and her one and her two in concert to kill all of these enemies, my guns are not effective against these enemies. There's a very, very select few uh, weapons that can do anything in the realm of the amount of damage needed to kill these enemies. And even then, that is exclusively with a Warframe that is buffing them up. So Korra doesn't really have much choice other than to use the combination of all of her abilities because that's how she does the most optimal damage. She's just simply not going to be able to get through these enemies without doing her optimal damage. At least not any kind of a uh, fast rate uh, by herself. Maybe if you apply a full party, like adding Nova and other such things to it, it would be fine with your guns. But that's a lot of multipliers to be adding and a lot more squad members to have than none. So yeah, that is how tough they are in hard mode as it stood on the test server. Uh, and yeah, that's what's up. Uh, if I have done any math here incorrectly, I would love to be corrected if anybody has more accurate values or anything, uh, or if someone has dissected further the sortie armor multiplier, and maybe it's actually like a 2.5 multiplier or something like that to make these guys just very slightly less tough. I would love to have that information. Uh, but other than that, I hope you guys have really enjoyed this video. Kind of a short and sweet one about these tough fucking boys. Bye, everybody.